Hi there, Dean here from TravelVidStar.tv, bringing you another editing tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at iMovie on a desktop, on a computer, or a laptop, or whatever it is, on a not on a smartphone in other words, for a change. In this video we're going to do the step-by-step -step walkthrough process with the same footage just so that you get to compare it to the other systems like in the last video where we looked at DaVinci Resolve, which is a little bit more of a complicated system compared to iMovie. iMovie is as simple and as easy as it gets for desktop editing if you are on a Mac. We will look at other versions for PC at a later stage, like Filmora, uh, and um, some deeper tutorials on DaVinci. But right now, I want to get into a walkthrough of iMovie on a laptop. So let's open it up and see what iMovie looks like. Before we get started, just make sure you've got your folder sorted out with the footage that you're going to be taking into the editing app pre-prepared. These are the uh, 13 clips that I'm going to use to be making my edit. In my case, I took a little bit of extra time to already name the clips. So I know that this is the close-up, that's uh, extra shot, a medium shot, all that type of thing. So I can quickly, in the program, not have to always look for everything, but take a glance and say, okay, well, that's the one I need right now. All right, so iMovie, and there it is over there. Let's open that up. And if this is the first time you're opening it, uh, it'll give you a little bit of a tutorial walkthrough, but this is usually the screen that you end up on, especially if you've never had a, made a project before. It's very simple. You click on the Create New. So just like on the iMovie for smartphones, for an iPhone, you will have the, these two options to make a movie or to make a trailer, where the trailer is a pre-templated edit where it does it for you uh, based on specific styles. But we, we want to make our own video, so we're going to choose movie. And there we are in the editing suite. Like all editing suites from the most basic right up until the most complicated like Premiere, DaVinci Resolve, the full version, Final Cut and all that, it, they've all got the same setup. And this is the thing that I want you to start seeing. Even in the mobile phones, you've always got your media area over here. You've got your display area to see what is actually happening. There'll be a little collection of tools you can see over there, for example. And then there's the timeline at the bottom here, which is where your clips will live in the sequence that you want to see them. So yeah, let's go to step one. Step one is obviously importing the media. So you can click on the import and go look for the media in your computer. So I know mine's on the desktop. It's in a, this folder over here. And I'm just going to grab all of it and import it all. There we go. The second step is to place it in the timeline, all the clips in the order that you want them. So I'll start off with our sign. Then we will go with uh, sort of a nice wide shot to show what the place looks like. Now, in order to not have to go all scroll across like this from the bottom, we're going to want to shrink this. So you can do that by holding Command and then pushing the minus keys. See that shrinks it down and plus would go back into zooming in. If you want to see it all in one fitted screen, you can push Shift Z and it just compresses it down to that. These are all the same keys as Final Cut Pro, by the way, just in case you were wondering. Right, let's carry on. So once you see where we are, what's this? So I can scrub over it to have a look at it, which is a really nice feature in, in, in iMovie. And I can also just push space bar. The, the real taste of the bean to see what it is. So yeah, that's good. I'm going to start with the beans, then we want to see the beans. Uh, then we're going to get some water. Get that water close up. Um, once that's boiled, uh, let's get the coffee in the cup. Let's add that hot water to it. What else we got here? Uh, that's the serving, that's the tasting, uh, this one, then that one, 
Okay, see it's getting out of control again, so I'm going to push Command minus just to shrink that down to size. Then there's the serving, drinking, and we'll end off with a little bit of uh, a talk about the place here. So interesting with this one, um, you can see the orange lines mean that it's being used. So easily if you won't forget what you haven't used yet, I'll drop that at the end. And I'm gonna duplicate this one as just an outro again. So an intro and an outro. So we know where we are in this video. Okay, so this entire video is, as you can see over here, one minute and 36, which is a good length for a video, but we haven't, sort of clip these down yet. And you can see there's unfocused parts. Um, some of these are very long. This is like a 25, 26 second thing where I set the camera up. Let's see, set the camera up, walk away, wait for a good moment. And there it is there somewhere. So what we wanna do is now go into the third phase, which is clipping these things, trimming and clipping the clips down to only their best part. So there's two ways to do this two tools that you can use. One is the split tool to make a split in the clip. So as we have this one here, that's the part I wanna start the clip on. Everything before that, I'm going to remove. So how I do that is I can, while the cursor, this yellow line is there, I can right click and say split. You'll see the shortcut is there as well, Command B. But let's just clip that. You see it made a split and these are now two different clips. If I take click on the first one to select it and hit delete, it's gone. Now I'm going to space that out and just go one and two and three. That's plenty. I mean, I don't need more than that. And look how much left over there is. So let's clip that again. And now I'm going to use the shortcut, which is command B and it makes a cut. B, you can remember this because B is for blade. You need a blade to cut something. Highlight that one and delete it. So that's the split tool. And then there is also the um, trim tool, which means you take from the beginning or the, the back of the clip. So I'm gonna zoom in again, just to get a bit of a better view. And we'll start with this first clip. We'll go all the way to the front and we're gonna push play and count. So it's and one and stop. That's where I wanna stop. I could make a split there, but I can also just grab the back end and slide it to that line. And that's it. So let's watch that again. And one and cut. And one and cut. See, I don't even want more, that much. I'm going to shorten it down. Also, while I'm here, this is actually step four. It's the next part, but I'm going to do it all in one go to make this edit even faster. I'm just going to take that audio away. I don't like it. It's a noise. Sometimes ambient audio is good. Sometimes you want it in the background just softly. In my case, I'm going to kill it. And actually get the, the real taste of the bean. There we go. I don't need that back end, so I'm just going to trim that off. That first bit was out of focus. We trim that off and one and cut using those beats. And next, wait for it. There's a moment starting and one and cut there as that hand goes down. Just like that, dick. Oh, out of focus again. You can even trim and see it like this. It's iMovie's really, really, really user friendly that way. One and stop and stop. Yeah, I was gonna go for two, but one and cut. It's enough. We don't want extra long clips. Again, out of focus. Command B. Make split. Delete. And yeah, that's fine. In fact, now this coffee going in there, we can also move that to the beans here. So this is how you move things around. Uh, if it's not in the right order for any reason, you grab it, hold it, no, not that, grab it, pull and drop it over there. Let's see. And one and one and one and one. No. So we've had a lot of ones back to back there. There's one, two, three, four. You know, that's a, that's a good amount of time now to have a bit of a longer shot. So, and one and two and stop. 
bit of breathing room in the edit so that it's not so all intense. And one. Yeah, that was actually take a little more off the back. Say that again. Cool, there we go. Say that again. So you'll notice there's no sound on these. That's because I didn't I knew I wasn't gonna need the sound in this video, so I recorded without the mic on. Where I knew I wanted to record a bit of voice, I kept the sound in. So in this case, you'll hear here. Say that again. I didn't want that. I missed the, the moment. It, it happened and it just went by and I'm like, ah, actually I want that. So I clipped the mic in and I just said, hey, do that again. I'm going to remove that now. Say that again. And we're going to make a control B, command B, delete that. And there you go. see, that's the part you want. So even though he had to do that twice, my viewers will never know that. And it's, it's good enough. And that's the only sound I want. Don't want that. Remember, keep your clips short. We don't have to show the whole process. And stop. Perfect. We get that point. So I'm going to turn that volume down in this case. Oh, wow. Oh, we love that. And uh, you know, we wanted people to get in touch with where coffee comes from, whether it's the green, the producers, but as well as who roast the coffee. It doesn't come to some mysterious factory in Italy, we roast it right here. And that's it, a little bit of talking about the place. And we end on that for a little bit longer this time. Okay, there we go. Our video is now 40 seconds. The entire video is 40 seconds, a nice little story. We've already done the sound editing of the clips, so that's done. All that I want to do now is, uh, is add some music to this. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's go find, oh, there's a track, there's a track over here and from No Copyright Music on YouTube. Um, if you don't know how to get music off YouTube, we've got a video for that. You can find it on our channel or in our course. Right now, I'm going to just drop this one in. Yeah, that's fine. Make it a nice sort of comfortable volume somewhere, somewhere there. Okay, from the top. Should we get the, the real taste of the bean? Happy. A little bit loud, let's drop that down a bit. Cool. See, I don't actually going to shorten that a little bit more. Uh, you know, we wanted people to get in touch with where coffee comes from, whether it's the green, the producers, but as well as who roast the okay. coffee. I'm happy with that. The only thing I'm going to do is, because this talking part is quite interesting, is that I'm going to make a incision, a split here in the music. So again, highlight the music and command B is a split. And then at the end of the talking again, over here, another B. And then this little piece, we're gonna just silence the audio just a little bit lower. So as it plays. Uh, you know, we wanted people to get in touch with the Right, that's better. And we cut it off over here at the back. Again, command B, make a split, and gone. All right, that's it. I'm happy with that edit. It's pretty much good to go. All that I need to do now is export. And I'm going to just make it into a file, straight like this, onto my computer. Uh, description, this is called the coffee shop in Cape Town. Uh, 1080, high quality, everything's good to go. Next. And we'll just put that on the desktop for now, and then we'll move it from there. Save. And that'll just take a, a few seconds to export and it'll be done. While that's exporting, um, I'm gonna quickly show you the great thing about iMovie on a computer. You can see how easy it really is. And it's also really easy to do the overlay 
of footage over footage. You saw me do that accidentally earlier. What that means is if I want, while he's talking, I can also add clips on top of that. So you see, you just drag them up. Um, let's just put another one in there. And now I'm going to push Command Plus to zoom in a bit. Let's grab those. So have a look at what this looks like now, if you play. Uh, you know, we wanted people to get in touch with where coffee comes from, whether it's the green, the producers, but as well as who roast the coffee. See, so it's a nice way to, to make an even more dynamic video, and it's as easy as dragging it over on top of the other layer. So that, of course, is one of the main reasons why you want to move to a desktop editing suite as quick as possible. Our export is done. Let's go have a look. On the desktop, video is ready to go and uploaded. So that's it. That's the walkthrough in iMovie. It's the simple version. Of course, there are lots more functions and features that you can play with. But if you want to get those short stories from your phone straight to the computer, you can use AirDrop or you can just transfer them. There's, there's a million ways to transfer your footage from a phone to a computer. You saw how easy it is to dump them into iMovie and export them within a matter of minutes. So if you have any questions about this platform or any other platform, of course, as always, let us know in the comment section below. And uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial. You're watching TravelVids.tv and this is how to make videos the easy way. Cheers.